Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. back, back. Okay, so I'm going to start off and I'm going to be changing my nails that I've already done. Don't mind that pink one there, I was just trialing something out. But I'm coming in with the Glitter Planet Super Scraper. And I'm just going to go ahead and push back all of my cuticles and just make sure that they are even and a little bit more tidy. And then I'm going to come in with the other side. It is a double-sided tool. I absolutely love using the super scraper it is gorgeous it is beautiful and it is super efficient it's a pusher and a scraper in one so you get both implements there and yeah I just love pushing back the cuticles and then scraping off all that dead cuticle on the nail plate you do have to be gentle you don't want to dig into your nail plate so make sure that you are using it correctly and at the right angle um, But yeah it's super super efficient and I love using it in my prep routine And as always, I will leave all the products linked for you guys down below. At the moment, the Super Scraper is out of stock, I'm pretty sure. But we do have them in manufacturing and hopefully they will be ready soon. Just a little tip as well, if there are any products out of stock on the Glitter Planet website, you can go ahead and enter your email address and as soon as everything is restocked or if we restock an item, you will get a notification and it will let you know straight away so that you don't miss out. So once I finish with the super scraper, I'm going to come in with the fine carbide cuticle bit. And this is just an extra step. I really wanted to make sure that my prep was really thorough and precise. So just coming in with this bit helps me get further into those little nooks and crannies that are a little bit hard to reach with just a scraper or a pusher. And it helps just really um, make the prep more efficient. Now it's not a necessary step. You don't have to do this. I just really enjoy cleaning up my cuticle cuticles and doing that process. So next I'm going to come in after I finish with my fine cuticle bit I'm going to come in with the tapered carbide medium bit and this is the tapered bit from Glitter Planet so all the bits as well are from my website which is glitterplanetuk.com as I said I'll list it down below but I think this bit as well is sold out it's super popular um, but again I have these in manufacturing right now so hopefully everything just comes back in stock at once fingers crossed this is perfect I love this bit for so much so many things I love using it for taking off gel polish for debulking for shaping and refining taking down length I find that it's just a really all-around perfect bit and it's a safety bit because it's got that um, round top it's not going to cut you or hurt you or anything like that obviously if you drill your finger it's gonna be slightly uncomfortable so I don't recommend that of course um, but with the smooth top, it just gives that added assurance that you're not going to cut yourself when you get close to that cuticle area. So as you can see, it's so fast at removing my gel. I know I've sped this up, but it really doesn't take long at all. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that and then we can move on to the next step. So the next step I like to do is come in with my safe scrub. Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I love using the safe scrub. It prevents um, any bacteria, it cleanses the nail, it dehydrates the nail. And I just like to use it with one of the little scrub brushes that we have available. I like to soak that through and really scrub away that dust and get it all gone. Now that little nick it on my bloody thumb, um, I did that, I think I did it at work. Um, I was packing a parcel and I've just, like jammed my cuticle on one of the boxes. It was a little bit sore and then it decided to, I think I hurt it again and it decided to bleed right before I did this video. So that was great for you guys, of course. Um, very pretty, you know. Anyway, making sure everything is clean is an added extra, especially if you have like cuticles where you've got a little nick in them or you've cut yourself. Just make sure that everything is clean and 
you know, ready to go. So I'm coming in with my 100, 180 grit files and these come in packs of five and I'm just going ahead and making sure to blend in the acrylic to my natural nail, remove any lifting if I have any, I don't have much at all on these, I don't think I had any actually. Um, but yeah, I still like to come in and just blend that area because I'm going to be adding more acrylic there. So I do like to thin it down slightly. And then once I'm happy with that, I do come in and I just remove the dust. So next I'm going to come in and prepare for my infill and I'm using the dish from Glitter Planet. This is officially going to be restocked maybe today. If not, it will be one day very, very soon. We got the stock in. I just need to check it all, make sure everything is fabulous and fantastic. And then the stock will be added. So if you haven't already, do sign up for those stock alerts because that will be happening ASAP. I'm just tipping my premium adhesive monomer into my dish and then burping my brush, fanning it out, making sure to get rid of any air bubbles, making sure that it's ready and good to go. So I'm going to be using the Nailmate um, cover powder, no, I'm lying to you, it's not a cover powder, the Nailmate core powder in the shade Milky Pink and this is our new 165 gram jars. I will be adding those to the website soon so I can't wait for that. And I'm then coming in with the primer also from my website and I'm just taking off the excess product and then applying that to the natural nail only. You do not want to get this product on your skin or any primers or any liquids of any sort, just keep it to the natural nail. So next I'm coming in with my infill with Milky Pink and I also do have Milky Pink on my nails as well. I'm not sure if I showed that in the video of creating my previous set. Um, no, I don't think I did. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm infilling with Milky Pink as well. So I'm just applying a ball at the cuticle, allowing it to level out and then using my brush and moving that product down the nail, blending it into the existing acrylic. So I'm going to do that on all of the nails and that will be my infill complete. And this took me under four minutes to actually apply and lay the acrylic for my infill. So now that's my infill done, I come in and do minimal filing, as you can see everything looks pretty damn bomb. And I'm coming in with a new gel polish shade, which is called Negligé. So this is from the Nailmate gel polish line, it's not yet released but I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm so excited about it, it's a gorgeous, stunning nude, it's a pale pinky nude colour, it's absolutely gorgeous, I love wearing it. Um, so I'm going to apply two coats to this entire set. So I'm showing you one coat, so you need to apply it and just give it a minute before you cure it to kind of level out and that will get rid of some of those, as you can see, like the brush strokes, they kind of self level and become less. So definitely allow this polish to do that and then cure it and then come in with your second coat. So I've cured that and I'm now coming in with the second coat of negligee. So I won't link this down below because I haven't got a link for it yet, but I'll list it just so you can, you know what it is. And if I remember, I will go back and add the link once it is available. So yeah, I'm just going to add the second coat and then cure in the light and I'll show you how stunning this colour is just on its own. So look at that, you can see those two nails have um, two coats and those, my little one and my ring finger have one. Such a stunning nude colour, absolutely beautiful. Also, 
You can hear my kids in the background. They are still off school. We are still in lockdown. And that is life. Okay, so once I've applied this negligee colour and fully cured it, I'm going to come in with our new white. So we will have two new whites. We have one for full coverage nails. Obviously, you can use both for whatever you want. But I wanted to have one that was easy to apply to the nail, went on like butter and was just super pigmented. But I also wanted one that was a thicker white that when you painted French... It stayed and held its place and was just beautiful. So we have white out, which is what I'm using now. And we also have a French white, which will both be coming very soon. They will be arriving at the same time as negligee. So I'm so excited for that. So I applied one coat of the white out to the tips just very randomly and then cured that for a full cure of 60 seconds in our Nailmate LED lamp, which I'm so excited for. And then I'm coming in with the Pixel Holographic Foil, and this is such a gorgeous foil. And I'm just tacking that onto the sticky layer of the gel polish. I'm not applying any foil gel or anything like that. Our gels have a nice sticky tacky layer, so foils can be applied straight to them. Next, I'm going to come in and paint on the cow print design. So I'm using Midnight Black Gel Polish from Nailmate, which is the blackest black I have ever, ever used. I wanted a black that was just like the night sky, but blacker. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just popping some on our new palettes. We have these um, palettes in blue and also in pink, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I love using them. So, yeah, I've just popped it on there, and I'm just using the Nailmate detailer brush and I'm just painting random cow spots on the nail and I'm going over the pink and over the white areas as well because I wanted it to be super relaxed I didn't want a specific like really definite design I just wanted it to be random and just have fun playing with gels because I do love working with gels and creating little art pieces so I just do one nail at a time and just do a flash cure for five seconds So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off painting the cow print onto the nails and then I'm going to cure all of that top coat and I'm going to share with you the final result. I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm so glad I'm able to actually put up another video, especially with how busy we are. There is so much going on at HQ. Um, everything's just literally amazing, but crazy like absolutely crazy so I'm so glad that I'm still able to get a video out for you guys and I have another one at the ready I just need to find time to edit Okay, so I, like I said, I'm just going to cure that for a full cure and then I'm coming in with the Nailmate Gel Polish Top Coat. And our Soak Off Gel is, our Soak Off Gel, our Gel Polish is a Soak Off system so you can just literally etch and buff off that top coat slightly and then soak off and it will literally just fizzle off the nails. So this is a Soak Off Gel Polish Top Coat and it does finish with a sticky layer so that residue does need removing. I'm going to apply an even layer to all of the nails and cure. I do flash cure between each nail. I just find it better to do that just to save any product running down the nail or under the cuticle um, just because I love applying a nice healthy amount of Gel Polish Top Coat. I remove that residue and then add some lemongrass cuticle oil and this is the final result. I love how it turned out. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So cute and fresh and absolutely popping. Like this design is one of my faves. Thank you so much for watching guys and as always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever 
let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye.